In a packed stadium, the Vuvuzela's monotone drone sounds like a hornet's nest. This was the sound of the 2010 Football World Cup in South Africa, a fashion accessory for football lovers. Now, a study done in London suggests this horn could spread germs. What does come out, what we found was lots and lots of very tiny particles come out called aerosols. These are tiny, tiny droplets and they stay in the air and they can float in the air and you can breathe them in or other people can breathe them in. And if they happen to be carrying a virus or a bacteria, a germ with them, then they'll get into the lungs of the other person, your neighbour, your person sitting next to you, and that's how diseases spread. When one blows into it, up to four million droplets can be released in just one second. Organizers of the 2012 London Olympics may ban Vuvuzelas during the tournament. People here credit themselves with making the Vuvuzela fashionable. It's even made its way into the Oxford Dictionary. South Africans are proud of the Vuvuzela, which has become a multi-million dollar industry. But people here have mixed feelings about the study that was recently done in the United Kingdom. I think it's nonsense that you can get from, I've, I've, I personally blow the Vuvuzela, I've never had flu from it. The most that can happen to me is maybe my throat is sore because I've overdone it over a long period of time. Hypothetically speaking, it is possible, but will the Vuvuzela be the next pandemic in terms of spreading the flu? No, I don't think so. Experts warn the Vuvuzela is too noisy and may cause hearing loss with long-term use. People must realize that it can be dangerous uh, but you don't have to exaggerate it also. We must be careful uh, not to create a, a, a panic, a state of panic in society. If Vuvuzelas do make an appearance at next year's Olympics, experts advise those who happen to be sick at the time to refrain from using them. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.